Hi everyone, welcome to Anacademy Need English. I'm your biology educator Ambika Sharma and today we are going to talk about the correct way to read the NCRT. Yes, it is right, 98% of the students, they don't even know how to read the NCRT properly and they are reading NCRT incorrectly. You know that students ask for the guidelines from the NTA. Your paper will come from NCRT, isn't it? But still, if you look around, ask uh, it from your seniors or right maybe you have also given the neat examination so you know that students they are scoring from out of 720 they are sometimes they are scoring 300 marks 350 marks even some students are also scoring 250 marks they are scoring 400 marks 450 marks like this right right and if our entire paper is going to come from ncrt we know that but then still why we are not able to score the good marks Right? See, those who are scoring 300, 350 marks or let's say even they are scoring marks up to 450, right, means they are not even reading the NCRT biology properly because biology portion is making 50% of your NEET examination that is 360 marks and if you read NCRT correctly, you can easily score 350 marks. Yes, you can easily score 350 marks. So, if you are scoring 350 marks in mock test, 350 marks in your final NEET examination means you don't even know how to prepare, you don't even know how to read the NCRT because ultimately this is the book from where the paper is going to come. So, this is what we are going to discuss today so watch this video till the end and in the comment section do let me know you find it useful or not because i am going to cater all the topics all the important topics that disturb students and but the, the videos that i use to make it is as per my experience with the students and every time time to time i used to ask it in my batches as well that what kind of difficulties my students are facing and i want to help you out so please put that in the comment section that you liked it or not and do let me know the other topic that you want me to cater okay now come to this part okay ncrt we all know that it is the most important book and we know that maximum people will come from the ncrt right so students as i said if they're scoring less than 300 marks in biology they don't know anything they don't know how to revise the things from the NCRT. Why? Because there is a general trend. If you are a neat aspirant, very less lead aspirants, they prefer the self-study. Self-study is also okay. But yes, a lot of distractions are there. So because of that, we need proper plan. We need a proper, you know, we, we need to do the things in a disciplined manner. Okay. So mostly students, they go for the coaching. Offline coaching it can be, online coaching it can be and you know that you are getting modules from the offline coachings as well, you are getting modules from the online coaching as well. So students they used to go for the coaching, they prefer the coaching modules because you because they know that the test, right, the test in the coaching is going to come from the coaching modules. So they read the coaching modules, they make the notes, they, re, they revise their coaching modules or the notes, coaching modules or the notes and when they are done they are like okay now let's read it from the NCRT okay wow we have mastered the NCRT am I right ask it from yourself I think I'm right this is what you people do that is how you study that is how you read the NCRT and it is incorrect so what is the right way ma'am let me tell you see NCRT should be your main book always. If you are going to the coaching, obviously for some topics, we teachers, we need to teach you extra. Okay, listen to that teacher, understand that concept. But ultimately, it is the NCRT, which is our main book. And but lectures, right? Your lectures should be asked for NCRT as well. Like if you are studying online, you're looking for a teacher, your teacher should clear, right? Your teacher should be the one who's teaching you as per NCRT, who's clearing every line, every single line from the NCRT, keep it in your head students and even in the offline coaching also this is what you need to take care remember this right now we have to read the NCRT thoroughly now what is the meaning of reading NCRT thoroughly because all the teachers say the same things ma'am and we are also as per us we are also studying the NCRT thoroughly so how can you say that we are not reading it properly I know you are thinking like that let me tell you see what we are doing starting with the coaching modules then we are reaching to the ncrt it should not be a trend we are going to a lecture even if we are doing the self-study even if we are studying from the youtube okay listen to your teacher make the notes right running notes during your lecture now after that open up your ncrt let's say today you have finished the chapter digestion and absorption then what are you going to do next what you should do next 
you should open the ncrt whatever you have completed in your class just read it from your ncrt read each and every line from your ncrt and don't be like that you are just sitting idly and you are thinking okay now i will open my book never ever never ever go for this right while reading the ncrt you need to be very 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 attentive right do not consider it as a book just a book no each and every line written there in ncrt is the answer of a question that's what you need to keep in your head so while reading ncrt do not ever leave theory do not even leave summary do not even leave the description of the diagrams given and do not even leave the questions from the exercise right this is how you need to read the ncrt and especially for the biology this is the ideal way for the chemistry this is the ideal way right bachche right and if i talk about the physics see in physics you can only understand ncrt if you have the knowledge of that particular topic right if you think that directly you will open up the ncrt and you will master the physics ncrt no that is not the case that is not the scenario right you have to look for a teacher that teacher is going to clear all your concept that teacher is going to teach you properly and when you are sure that yes i'm done with this particular chapter i have practiced many question now i know this chapter then open up your ncrt and then read it from ncrt and mark my words again you will find problems right again you will say that okay in this particular chapter i'm not able to understand this and then go to your teacher clear your doubts this is the ideal way but in biology after attending the lecture directly go for the ncrt in chemistry too especially in inorganic in chemistry even in organic chemistry you can go for it in physical chemistry okay you again need to understand the topic then you have to read the ncrt so first of all keep it in your mind that how right how to read the ncrt of different 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 subjects in a proper way right so for biology theory summary description exercise and while reading ncrt you need to be attentive you cannot just sit randomly and you are like okay okay i'm reading no it's our main book each and every line is having a each and every line is the answer of a question we have to frame the questions i'll come to this part now now i'll show you something i'll quote some example so here you guys can see this is a previous year question it is from neat 2022 right neat 2022 previous year question it is now just look at it this line is given in ncrt the process of fusion of sperm with an ovum is called fertilization during fertilization a sperm comes in the contact with the zona pellucida of the ovum and it induces the change in the membrane that block the entry of the additional sperm the question here is receptors for sperm binding where are they present the question is directly from the ncrt so when you read the ncrt do not consider that right these are just the notes that we need to revise no each and every line written here is the answer of a particular question when it comes to your assertion and reasons right wherever in ncrt the words like because hence they are given so mark that mark that words with your highlighter because the assertion and reasons based questions are going to come from such lines let me tell you bachche this is a this is a proven fact bachche you guys can even check your previous year assertion and reason based question you can compare it with the ncrt most of the time wherever because is give uh, written in ncrt hence is written in ncrt question is coming from that part right this is the one example now come to this part this is the description description of a diagram so here ozone hole is the area above antarctica right bachche and ozone thickness is given in dobson unit it is not given in the theory this word is not used in the theory but it is there in the description and here you guys can see the question as well so we cannot leave anything from ncrt leave your coaching modules master your ncrt once you are done with your ncrt then pick up whatever book you want to or or i can say that master your ncrt then read ncrt again then read ncrt again then read ncrt again and start solving ncrt based questions this should be the ideal way now see this is from the chemistry right in the chemistry this line is given highly poisonous nature of a carbon monoxide arises from arises because of its ability to form a complex with the hemoglobin you guys can see this line here you guys can see the question on the basis of that right right it is again the ncrt now come to this part physics right one example is given right the example is given right they have mentioned it here here you guys can see the solution now when you look at it right when you look at it just compare it here it is 94 degree celsius 86 degree celsius 90 degree 80 degree a little change is there the temperature is all same little change is there and accordingly with the by by if you will start solving such example based question from the physics ncrt obviously you can 
give the answer of it. They have just changed some values. Ultimately, the method is going to be same. So try to understand what you are doing, how you have to prepare. That is the most important thing. Now, one more example. One more example, Bache. You guys can see here, right? So it is the text. As such, from this text, there is a question, right? There is a question here in your paper and again one more question from your physics example right here you guys can see the question and same same type of example is there in your physics right so in physics final paper of need 2021 right there are so many examples so many examples that we can quote now ma'am okay we know that paper will ultimately come from ncrt we know that we have to read but how now see i'll give you one example this is a paragraph you know that it is from transport in uh, it is from plant growth and development isn't it plant growth and development okay here they have given the diagrammatic comparison of two things they have mentioned absolute and relative growth rate as i said it is the answer of a question we have to frame the type of question here they can in the final paper they can ask you what is the absolute growth they can ask you what is the relative growth right it is also a question now here they have mentioned quantitative comparison between growth they have mentioned these two growth rates properly now when you look at this they have given this bache that in figure 15.7 two leaves a and b are drawn that are of different sizes but shows absolute increase in area in given time right however one of them shows much higher relative growth rate which one and why so they have just mentioned which one and why so we have to solve it while reading the ncrt Right, while reading the NCRT, we have to figure out the answer here. We need to solve it. This is the ideal way to read the NCRT. In NCRT, you will see in paragraphs, there are many statements which are written in bold, noted down in your notebook. Right, wherever there is a question mark, solve that. If they are asking the question of a, uh, if they are asking the answer of a question, please solve it. Put the answer there in the NCRT. Right, bache, see one more example. Moreover, the tables given in NCRT, they can ask you the question from that. The best example is this GLUT4, right? GLUT4. Once it was a question in the need examination, it is not given in theory. It is not given in the description there. It is not given in summary, but it is there in the table. So you should even focus on such things also so if you will look at the ncrt it is a it is not just a you know a book having some pages or chapter no no it's a complete question bank it's a complete question bank so read ncrt thoroughly okay when you are reading it first no need to mark it no need to highlight anything read it twice right then when you feel like that actually you are understanding something then but you start highlighting highlighting the paragraphs there start highlighting the points there if there is any word which you are not able to understand right use google use the help from your teacher and understand the meaning of that word right away do not do not keep it for later that i will check it later no 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 this is what you have to do and always solve ncrt based questions there are many apps online apps in the market you can go and check and explore you can solve the questions there there are many books uh, right you should buy that books right and then you should solve the questions on based on the ncrt and while reading the ncrt consider yourself as an examiner that if you will be the examiner what type of question you can ask how can you ask a statement in a different different forms that is the ideal way and when you start creating questions in your mind bache when you start reading ncrt in this way trust me you will get a perfect score in the need examination this is the ideal way. so don't follow your coaching modules first follow your ncrt first once done then go for whatever start whatever book you want to. but ultimately see this is the first step right mbbs that degree is not that easy right that is just neat examination is just the first step so here try to absorb your ncrt properly and whenever you will go to the mbbs or something you know that you have to read the human physiology in detail you have to read the biochemistry in detail right so if you are interested in few subjects if you want to know more and more about them right now please keep your preparation directional just focus on clearing the neat examination because after that you will get a chance to read as per your interest but as of now what should be our agenda to clear the read examination and for that there is a defined syllabus and we have to master that only so this is my advice to all of you which and now look at this paragraph this is my personal favorite i'll tell you why because many times you know once my students were like that oh ma'am we have mastered this chapter i asked one question and they were not able to answer because they didn't pay attention 
they didn't pay attention they didn't pay attention to ncrt when they read it so now just look at it right it is uptake of mineral ions now when you look at this particular line okay transport proteins of endodermal cells are the control points where a plant adjusts the quantity and the type of solutes that reach the xylem it's a very simple line might be whenever you will read and said you like okay you will skip it but see see the statement and i know many of you they don't even know they don't even know it right but see look at this what are they trying to say here that endodermal cells are also having the transport protein they are also having the carrier proteins by which ions will move in move out so these transport proteins are just like the control points just like the control points they are the one which will decide that which solute will come in or not they are going to maintain that concentration they are going to maintain the quantity and types of solutes that will reach to the xylem so i can ask this question in a different different ways i can ask you that in the case of ion absorption where will you find the control points i can ask you endodermal control points what are they going to control right where will they control the quantity in which part they will they are going to control the quantity of the mineral elements like this so that is how you have to read the ncrt and when it comes to the short notes students right how to make the short notes let me tell you it's very easy read the paragraph once or twice and whatever points according to you they are important just write that points only and write them in a short form no need to copy the entire line from the ncrt right you have to read ncrt multiple times just pick up the keywords write down that keywords and then your notes will be ready so i hope you all find it useful see there are many paragraphs there are many lines from where question can come right how long do you think the pollen grains retain viability question mark is there you have to answer it ncrt is asking a question from you now you have to answer it so that is how you know it is present and there are many 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 questions right so please read it properly please read it properly please make it your main book and if you will start reading properly directly you will get 350 plus marks in your biology then 150 plus marks in your chemistry for physics i told you there is a different way to read the physics follow that and trust me you will get very good score as i always used to say we know that we need to go to this college we want to go to that college we want to go to this college that college but you should know the minimum criteria right that i i cannot afford to score marks less than 650 i cannot afford to score marks less than 670 right when you will focus on these things you will prepare accordingly that i cannot afford to miss this chapter to miss that chapter to miss this class to miss that class why because i need to score minimum 670 marks so first of all decide your minimum i always used to say decide your minimum and if you will right if you will like you know no activation energy so if you will overcome that barrier definitely you will get a good college so start first of all decide your minimum that yes minimum marks that i need to score in neat examination is 670 680 then watch it definitely that you will work hard and you will score above uh, marks above than the, uh, your decided target okay so do let me know in the comment section your minimum marks i want to see them and uh, which topic you want me to cater next just let me know i will make a video on that and moreover bache, your hsp sir has solved your problem let me tell you you know that when it comes to tricks no one can beat our hsp sir no one can beat our hsp sir he used to teach chemistry in such an amazing way right you are going to you are going to fall in love with chemistry right so guys what you have to do you can go to any video any video you will see the description box so you have to join this batch click on the batch there click on the link there and see it is just as the price of 2000 rupees right and don't buy one new dress don't go out for a movie just buy this course literally buy this course okay the price is one nine 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 and you know that it's not too much so be the part of this batch i want to see you all there in this batch and trust me you are going to love chemistry here in this batch and moreover bache, see i have made strategy videos for you right for biology individually right even see wazim sir shreya sir hsp sir we all used to make the videos which and we try to guide you bache, right so check it out right especially this one for the biology and one more is there where i have explained how to manage all the three subjects together so stay tuned take care thank you so much